New report from the University of Chicago shows an alarming number of college students feel they are in danger because of their religious beliefs. More than 50 percent of all Jewish and Muslim students feel personally unsafe on their campuses in the wake of the Israel-Hamas war. This rising tension is at the heart of a new off-Broadway play entitled The Ally, in which a Jewish college professor is asked to sign a social justice position that forces him to grapple with just how far he is willing to go to condemn Israel while still protecting his own identity. And joining us now, the play's lead actor, Josh Radner. And Josh, thanks for coming on the show this morning. Really important timing um, for, for this storyline, actually. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, well, you, you did a pretty good summary, but um, I would say, uh, you know, every issue that's kind of roiling college campuses right now and on the front pages and the op-eds um, is pretty well, you know, articulated by this play. It's about identity and um, uh, politics and how the, pol the political and the personal get intertwined and are kind of inextricably linked. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a ferocious piece. I'm really grateful to be a part of it. Ferocious and, and certainly intense and, and timely. Yeah. Uh, and, and one that I would assume triggers some pretty strong emotions from those watching it. What has that been like? Um, well, you never know going in each night. I mean, some nights the audience are, you, you know, they're just really with the play. You can really hear them listening. Sometimes we've had audible uh, reactions, people kind of shouting things or saying things, applause at various moments. You know, when, when one uh, part of the audience is applauding, you can be sure that the other part of the audience is not applaud. you know, mm. really intentionally not applauding. So I would say it's been, it, it, we're covering these divisive issues, but it's incredible. The audience has been mostly very respectful. Um, yeah. And it's an intense experience for those watching, but it also has to be intense for you being yeah. up there. Walk us through what drew you to the role and what it's like for you there night after night. Uh, well, Itamar Moses is an incredible playwright. I've known him for years. He's a Tony winner. Lila Neugebauer is one of the great directors in the American theater, the public theater where I've always wanted to work. So just the elements of it were uh, kind of a yes before I even read the play. But then once I did read the play and I realized, you know, this was written, he started it in 2018. So it was written long before October 7th and he made some adjustments uh, based on that. But um, it just felt like everything I ever wanted to do in the theater was to be in a play that felt urgent and vital and scary as an actor mm. to do. Um, but that was really speaking to its moment with some urgency. Hi, Josh. It's Jennifer in D.C. Hi. Wondering, uh, I mean, you're tackling really difficult, a really difficult topic, really difficult emotions here. What do you feel at the end of the play for the for the audience, I guess also for the performance, has been sort of released into the world that um, is a positive thing? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, I think that, um, you know, so much of the dialogue and discourse around these issues are very, it's very first draft, it's very kind of inflammatory, it's very emotional. And I think the audience is, is quite relieved to sit for two and a half hours and have um, some very vetted, fact-checked, you know, it's not, it's not like dry op-eds, you know, talking, talking heads. It's really, uh, these, the people in the play are, you know, really fighting for their lives. And, but I think that there's something about the character that I play, Asaf, who has this very elastic mind and he's very conflicted about these issues. He's very anguished. And I've had a lot of people come up to me and just, they're very grateful that I'm embodying that anguish that they're feeling, um, that they don't have a definitive point of view or they're, they, they see all sides or many sides to these different things. And I think that there's some gratitude that, that there's a play that's holding all these contradictions and parallel narratives. Um, and there, there seems to be some palpable relief among the audience when they see the play. The play The Ally is uh, playing at the Public Theater in Manhattan through April 7th. Josh Radner, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning, and thank you for doing this. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you, and Josh.